All right, everyone. So in my last video, I showed you how to create uh, an application on ITAS, IQAS, uh, you know, uh, despite the daily time limit cross message being shown how to do this. It's on my channel. You can check it. Uh, what I'm going to tell you next is the next big barrier that we all face, which is the payment page on IQAS and this message that you see every day and it upsets you, IQAS daily limit reached even if you log in exactly at 8 15 even if you reach the page exactly at 8 15 you are unable to make the payment so just have patience uh, people i'm going to tell you how to do this because i did it myself and a couple of people on a facebook group really helped me do it uh, i would like to uh, call their names out danish and mohammed suleiman who really helped me uh, make the payment and uh, then I obviously came up with a uh, hack my own but that doesn't matter uh, what I'm going to tell you guys is a process that absolutely absolutely works so before everything else you are I'm going to say it again do not do time conversion and follow the clock of your own country follow Alberta clock go to diamonddate.com and write Alberta over here and you will get the exact exact time exact clock of alberta and that's what you are to follow no matter who says what next thing that you are going to do you are going to open more than one tab so you're going to open at least about five tabs no matter which browser you're on so for example i am right now on uh, chrome so i'll show you on chrome so you are going to follow the clock and at exactly zero eight zero 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 alberta time you are going to sign into the iqas sign in page so at you should already be here not here the next page which is the sign in page you should be on this side because i'm signed in already so it's showing me the page so basically you should be on the sign in page exactly at 8 a.m alberta on all of them and whilst you're here, uh, you have to sign in exactly on that time. So it shouldn't take you more than, so basically I'll show it to you. You basically, you should be signed in at 8002 max. So basically open all of these sign in uh, tabs, different tabs, and sign in exactly at eight o'clock, 8 a.m. Alberta. Once you're in, you will, you will have created your application already because uh, both the things don't happen on the same day so your application would look like this you will you know after you can straight away come to the payment page and you have to reach this page before 8 14 alberta time before 8 14 a.m alberta time and once you are here there is a simple simple thing that you have to follow you have to you know after you click on preview my application what you see is you know, a form gets downloaded like this, like this, and a tick mark automatically comes on this box next to I have reviewed my application. Once this happens, a submit button appears here, which does not show right now because the daily limit has been reached. When you log in at 8 o'clock and you reach this page by 8.40, the submit button will show when the submit button shows here what you have to do is on all five tabs on all the tabs that you have opened your uh, payment page you have to now wait you have to exactly at 8 14 40 8 14 45 8 14 50 55 and 8 15 1 one by one on all tabs you have to click on submit trust me guys you will be at least one of those pages, if not more, will take you to uh, to the payment page. It will, a separate window will open for payment and then you'll be able to make it. Now, what are the caution? What are the caution words that you have to follow? Absolutely, absolutely follow up. You have to disable your pop-up blocker. That means you have to allow pop-ups on your browser, whether it's Firefox or Chrome or Edge or Explorer, whatever it is that you're using, you have to disable pop-up blocker. What that means is you have to allow pop-ups to come in, otherwise your payment page will not open. So that's the first word of caution. 
The other word of caution I already told you, do not follow time conversion, follow exact Alberta time. I would also suggest another thing that you can tell multiple people to try for you, but for payment, try only from one system. You, if you have a decent, if you have a very good internet speed, you can probably do it on two different browsers. You can, you know, open on Chrome and Firefox as well, but but do not try, do not try the same uh, sign-in credentials with the same sign-in credentials on different systems, I would suggest. Just do it on one system because that's how it worked out for me. And like I always do, I will show you how I have already made my payment. And here is my, uh, here is my, uh, you know, assessment. Uh, as you can see, it's submitted. I click on it. It will uh, ask me to download a form. And when the form gets downloaded, it clearly shows that I have successfully filled my uh, application and made my payment. So if there are any more questions, guys, please uh, write from the comment section. I will answer them. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, tell me, do tell me what other videos you'd like me to upload. Thank you. And subscribe to my channel, Canada Calling. Thank you.